everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my trash video, and it is also going to be a buy or buy, buy, buy video, because I'll tell you whether or not I would buy it again, or if I'm saying buy to it forever, it's going in the trash, and the product is trash. So, I've collected these items, and honestly... What's in my trash videos are my least favorite videos to do on my channel because it requires me to harbor trash. Like when I'm done with it, all I want to do is just discard it. But since I do these videos because you all love them so much, I do them for you all. I keep the trash in my closet. And so I'm always scared to look in here because I'm like, oh, it's a pile of stuff. It's trash. I hope it's not a spider in there. Oh, my gosh. Some of this stuff is very old. It takes me a minute to do this because I don't go through products that often. And the products that I do go through really fast are the same. And so you don't want to see a video where I just have 3,000 empty Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wizards because that's the product that I go through the quickest. So I've been collecting this stuff probably half of a year. And so it's trash time. It's time to let this stuff go. So I have a healthy mix of hair products as well as skincare as well as some makeup. But like I said, I don't go through products that often because I don't use the same stuff that much. And so the makeup products that I have in here aren't necessarily empty, but they may be some products that, you know, I've had for a long time and they've gone bad. So they may just be products that I'm tossing just because of that. So no further ado, let's start off with a deep conditioner. This is by Amica. This is the Soul Food Nourishing Mask. And my thoughts on this hair mask are that it's just all right. I didn't necessarily feel like my hair just felt very nourished after using it. I honestly really wasn't that impressed. The main thing that I liked about this is the smell. But for me, with hair care, it needs to... I just want to smell it again. It needs to smell good and it needs to make my hair feel really nice. And I just feel like this didn't really give me the nutrients that I needed. So I'm not off of the brands because I do have products that I like from Amica. It's just this didn't give me enough richness, especially right now that it's cold outside. I need a little bit more and this one is a buy for me. Another one, this is the Biolage. Hydra Source Conditioning Balm, and I love this. This one is a buy for sure. I definitely want to have this again. I love the way that this one smells. Oh my gosh, it makes my hair smell so good for a week. I wash my hair about once a week when it's cold outside. When it's hotter outside, I will wash it twice a week. But it doesn't matter how many times I wash it per week, this scent stays, and it makes my hair feel really nice and soft. I don't really use this when I'm wearing my hair down, but if I wash my hair and deep condition my hair knowing that I'm going to put it in a ponytail or some sort of style that doesn't require my hair to be straight, I love this. When my hair is straight, this is a little bit too rich, but it has such a nice feel to it and it really makes my hair feel hydrated. So buying this for sure again, love that. MAC Fix Plus. So I've had this Fix Plus probably for a year and a half and I have not repurchased it because it took me forever to get through this one. And we all know that MAC Fix Plus has been a staple in our makeup collections for such a long time. But at this point, I think that I have replaced Fix Plus and I have other mists in my collection that do more than what Fix Plus does because when I worked at MAC, they told us that Fix Plus was not a setting spray and they were very adamant about the fact that Fix Plus is not a setting spray. And if we said that, like it was a whole discussion that you had to have. You had to whip out the MAC Bible and go back over everything and look at the ingredients and how MAC Fix Plus was just a fixing spray. So you spray it and it melts the makeup in and it speeds up the oxidation process and all that good stuff. So now they're saying that it is a setting spray, which really blows me because if you all know how big of a thing it was for you all to not say that as a MAC artist when I worked there, like it was a huge thing. But anyways, it doesn't really set your makeup and it doesn't really make you glowy. It's just like boosted up water. Like it's not water. It does do something and I still like it, but 
for now, I'm going to say bye to it. It's had a nice run in my makeup collection. I'm not going to say that I will never repurchase MAC Fix Plus just because I know that it is a good product. It's just, I have other things that I kind of like more now. So it's not you, it's me. Kind of breaking up with you. Sorry. Lancome by Facile Eye Makeup Remover. Buying it always and forever. In the 20 years that I have been playing and doing makeup professionally and personally, I have always had some Lancome by Facile by my side. My mom started me off with the Lancome by Facile. She always had some in her bathroom. I would go and get hers. And I have never switched up on this product because this product has never let me down. You all know I have very sensitive eyes. And so I like to have eye makeup remover whenever I'm taking off my makeup because it makes that process so much easier you don't have to tug around your eye area you just simply place a cotton pad or whatever you use on your eye and you just gently massage it and that makeup comes right off it does not matter how stubborn the makeup that you have on is this stuff takes it off so I really love it and I will always buy it it is a staple in my collection and this is one of my holy grail products next we have the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm love this stuff I will definitely buy it again I love the way that it breaks down my makeup it has like a weird consistency that I really had to get used to at first because it kind of feels like you're putting like hair grease on your face and then the fact that somebody told me it smelled like blue magic and then I couldn't unsmell the fact that it did smell like blue magic hair grease it was like oh am I supposed to be putting this on my face but really, I like the way that it breaks down the makeup. It just makes taking off the makeup so much easier. And I really love this. You can even put it over your eyes and get that eye makeup to break down a little bit more too if you didn't want to use a separate eye makeup remover. This one does a really good job. So I definitely would buy it again. The smell is like, it does smell like hair grease. But, but... I like it and I would buy it again. And whoever told me that, like you knew I wasn't gonna forget that. Like that really stayed in my head. I'm like, dang, it does smell like blue magic. Shout out to those of you all who used to have to get your scalp greased with blue magic. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Peeling Gel Exfoliant and this is not empty. This is one of those products that I've had for such a long time. Ooh, I don't even know why I opened it. I mean, it's just time for it to go. I said in a video maybe last year, probably the year before, that I was going to use it up, but I didn't. And it's just time to toss it. It's just time to let it go. And honestly, I probably would not buy it again just because I still have basically a full bottle of that. And it was cool because you think your skin is peeling off because it's like, ugh, I'm getting rid of all this dead skin. But then it's like, is this really my skin? Is this working? So the uncertainty is going to make me say bye to it. So I got a facial last year and I got on this big kick about getting all new skincare products. And when I was at the office of the esthetician, she had these products there. So I purchased this. This is the Skin Medica AHA slash BHA exfoliating cleanser. And I used it for a little while, but... I just never really could get into it. It doesn't have a smell and I know, I know it's best if your skincare does not have a fragrance. And I was like, okay, whatever. It just was too harsh. Every time I would use it, like my skin would hurt and it wasn't necessarily like just a straight up scrub. It was a cleanser scrub. So it has a little bit of the creaminess that a cleanser would have with the scrub in it. But it hurt my skin, so I'm going to say bye to that. It's by Skin Medica. I probably will never use this again, and I'm just going to throw it away because I'm done with it. Next, I have the MAC Cleanse Off Oil slash Tranquil Oil. And I had had this underneath my counter for a while, so I committed to using it to, you know, just get it out of my collection. I'm tired of looking at it. And I bought this for a long time. Now, I still really like oil cleansers to remove makeup. I really, really love my Tatcha one, though, so I don't necessarily feel like I need this one anymore. And I feel like the Tatcha one is the elevated version of this. This is my introduction to oil cleansers. So I feel like I kind of have outgrown it. It's not bad, but it's just... 
it's not on Tasha's level. So again, like with the Fix Plus, I can't say that I would never buy this again because it is a good product, but do I feel compelled to buy it right now? No. So I can't say buy or buy. I'm going to just sit this to the side. I didn't even know I had this in here. So I think this is my last MAC product. No, no, it's not. So this is my last MAC product that I'm going to grab right now. Because I don't want to keep beating up on MAC. Like MAC was my baby for a long time. It's just I've outgrown a lot of their products. But one of the products that I have not outgrown that I never really loved is this. This is the Extended Play Per Me Up Lash. So as you all may know, I really like the Extended Play Mascara in Giga Black for my lower lashes and I still love that to this day. Like it's a really nice mascara, it's very thin and it grips onto my lower lashes. So they came out with this one which is for the upper lashes because the wand is a little bit bigger and it curves. So it grips the lashes and it's supposed to give you a little bit of a curl. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest with you all. I have never been a big fan of MAC mascaras. I feel like MAC mascaras have always just been mediocre and I feel that most of them are on par with a lot of drugstore mascaras and they're charging 20 plus dollars for them. So this one just kind of fell into that category. It's not bad. It's not great. Like if you just needed something to coat your lashes, I mean, well, I guess. But for me, it's a buy. I'm not buying. I'm not buying it. Next, I have the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Super Food Cleanser. There's a lot. <laughs> so, would I buy this again? Okay, so here's the thing. When I was using this, I really did like it. I think I may have even put it in my favorites video. Like, it was a nice cleanser. It made my skin feel good. It's a clean cleanser, so it doesn't have a whole lot of bad ingredients that aren't good for your skin. And overall, it just gives you a really nice, clean feel without your skin feeling stripped. But here's the kicker. I use this up a long time ago like I can't even tell you when I finished this container so I have not repurchased it and furthermore I have not even thought about it until I saw it in here I'm like oh yeah that so that makes me think that I really don't miss this and I don't need it. Again, it's really hard to say buy or buy to this just because it is nice. But like I said, I haven't thought about it. So it's all about, you know, what have you done for me lately? And I haven't been thinking about it lately. So I'm going to put this one on the maybe I'll buy it again. But if I don't ever use it again, I'm good because I feel like my skin is kind of popping. And so I don't feel like I necessarily need Hair care. I have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. I love this. Again, this is not a product that I use whenever I'm wearing my hair down because it weighs my hair down. But if I want to do my hair in a curly hairstyle that I use rollers for, or if I want to do my hair in a bun or a ponytail, I will spray this in my hair. It gives my hair an extra level of condition to it. And it feels really nice. And it smells really good. So I do like this. So I would definitely buy it again. I actually have a full bottle underneath my cabinet right now that I use all the time. Even when I'm putting my hair into a ponytail, I like to spray my hair and get the base of it kind of damp. And I know not a lot of people like to do that. But I like to do that because I feel like it makes my hair look a little bit more slick and I will spray this as opposed to just water because water just blah, 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 it just kind of can mess up your hair sometimes so I really like this so definitely buy again next we have a Stila glitter and glow eyeshadow and this really pains me to throw this away because I cannot even remember if I used this or not like these things dry out so fast that it really hurts my feelings to throw them away and you can try to save them and spray stuff or you know maybe mix in a few things to try to revive them 
but overall they dry out and I believe I bought this one at the top of the year and it was so pretty this one is the color into the blue and it has this really beautiful blue slash purple shift to it and I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe save it no no it is dead 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 so it makes me sad that these dry up so fast and I just really am going to be careful on which ones I buy going forward just because I don't use these all the time. And so if you're not constantly using them, then you're not going to get your money's worth out of them because they are going to dry down and you're going to waste your money. And I believe these are like $25 and I know that I pay full price for this one. So it just sucks that it's trash. Again, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. I might be saying buy to those unless it's a super special color because you cannot just collect those and have them in your collection like a powder product and just kind of have them because they're going to go bad. Oh, I have another Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleanser Balm. And I told you all, I will buy it again. So I have a pretty much full jar of the Chanel Hydra Beauty Creme. Maybe cream, but I think it's creme. So... I like the way that this smells and I like the way that it feels on my hands. This is a face cream. So I can't recommend for you all to buy this strictly for your hands. You know what I mean? Because I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, that is ridiculous. But for me, my hands are so dry that if something works, then honey, it works. So I really like this cream, but on the face, it is too fragrant. It's too strong, but the hands though, get your hands looking right. But you know, it's a really expensive hand cream though. Another pharmacy product. This is the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I like this, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna say bye to it because I love my cleanser that I use. And, you know, I will still try other cleansers just because, you know, I like to try products. But I just didn't really feel impressed with that. So, nah. Woo! Max Stroke Cream. So, this one is one of the ones that I've had for a long time. This one is the original one. The one that's like the pinkish slash purpley color. And I would definitely buy this again if I feel like I needed it. So, it's not something that I just use all the time. I do have a few other strobe creams still in my collection. But I threw this one in the bag just because I know that I have had this since at least 2015. Because I remember buying it when I worked at MAC. And I have not worked there in almost half of the decade. So, that's a buy. But I would buy it again. I like strobe cream. It's one of those products that give you such a beautiful extra dimensional glow. Is that a word? Yes. My Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I would definitely buy this concealer again. Dare I say it's one of my favorite concealers, but I have not repurchased it. I think it's just because I have so much new products and, you know, you just get bombarded. But I love this concealer. It's really nice. It has a nice consistency. It gives you good coverage. I think that it's just a dope product, so I would buy it. Ooh, I haven't seen this in a long time. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Essential Oils. And this one was already empty. I had it underneath my cabinet. You guys, I cleaned out my entire cabinet and I got rid of all the products that I don't use. And I found that I had doubles of a lot of stuff. So I took inventory of everything. But this is one of the things that was underneath the cabinet that was already empty. So it was just time to let it go. But I used to use the essential oils all the time. I would mix it into my foundation when I worked at MAC just because whenever we had trainings and stuff like that they would always have like a focused product and this one was a focused product one time so I got just really obsessed with it I would use it on my nails I would use it in my skincare I would mix it in with my creams I would mix it in with my concealers like I love the essential oils but in today's Kelsey makeup life I like my drunk elephant marula oil so this one is a buy I probably wouldn't buy it again another fix plus by hair care this one is the pureology 21 essentials spray love this it is my favorite it is very similar to the it's a 10 mist except for i think that this one works even better with my hair type it just makes my hair so smooth and it makes my hair feel so soft and it gives it such a nice finish to it so i love this i use this all the time i actually used it today when i was smoothing my hair in this bun
These are a bunch of old MAC products that I cleaned out that I probably need to back to MAC. Like I have a lipstick that says Playland. I am willing to bet this is a yellow lipstick. Yep. Yellow gold lipstick. Where am I wearing this to? Why did I need it? I don't know. And I know I bought it. It don't smell bad though. It's 2014. Goodbye. I love this. This is the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. And this one is in the color Medium Deep. Love this. It has correctors. It has different color concealers. This one's stinky. But if you are a professional makeup artist and you need something to create different colors, different mediums for different people, I really like these. Oh Honey Velvetise Lip Pencil. Hmm. It's dried out. If I could buy it again, I know it's not available anymore, but if I could buy it again, I probably still would say bye to it. It's a bunch of just old discontinued makeup. It's got sterile. <sighs> bye. I did not realize how many empty MAC containers I had. Face and body foundation. It's a buy for me. I tried to make myself like that foundation just because so many people liked it, but I just never got into it. MAC lashes. I used to be really into MAC lashes right now. It's a buy for me. Extended play. Still love that. Liquid lipsticks. Huh, bye. Ooh, cinnamon lip gloss. I wonder do they still make this. I really like that. I would buy it again. I have enough MAC stuff in here to at least get about six or seven lipsticks. You all know you take in six empty containers to a MAC counter. You get a free lipstick. Or if you take it to a MAC store, a freestanding store, you can get a free lipstick eyeshadow or lip gloss now i have more stuff in here let's see what else i have so i have a laura mercier translucent powder i will always buy this i love the way that this stuff sets my under eye i have three anastasia brow wizards by holy grail status for me is my favorite brow pencil lily lashes in the style miami by i always buy them i have other pairs of lashes that are not as expensive that i love but it's just something a way that miami sits on my eyes it's just muy caliente i have two kills creamy eye treatment with avocado i would definitely buy this again i love this it's my favorite eye cream it is the eye cream that i have used the longest i actually believe i started using that eye cream when i was like 12 or 13 years old i've been using eye cream every day since i was a preteen so that is the first eye cream that i remember using smashbox liquid lipstick bye dried out i don't even remember being able to wear this i may have been able to wear it once but not twice i know that this milk makeup flex concealer i would buy this again i like this concealer i like the consistency of it and i like the way that it wears throughout the day so good job milk my mark jacobs highliners i want to have these again i love them i will buy them you all know i love blacker i also like the colors earthquake and the color irony love them it stays put it does not irritate my eyes so i will always buy these as long as the formula remains consistent the josie moran whipped mud mask it is an argan hydrating and detoxifying treatment so i did not buy this initially this is one of the products that was sent to me and i liked it but i didn't love it so i probably won't buy it i have combination skin in the winter time it does get a little bit drier but still even with my skin getting a bit drier my t-zone area still is oilier than the rest of my face and i like this but i didn't notice a huge difference in my skin and for me to exert extra effort to do a mask, I need to see results. Otherwise, I'd rather just sit on the couch. Getting down to the bottom, I'm getting excited. I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the color Brunette. So, do I love this? No. Do I like it? Yes. I bought this because I was in a pinch and I needed a brow pencil. So, I would buy it again if I were in that same predicament. But am I just going to go looking for it? Nah. I'm not. So these are two concealers from Too Faced, but I like them more so for all over. I love this for every single day when I'm going out of the house and I want to have something on my face, but I just don't have time to do my full makeup routine. Bomb, 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 bomb. Try it if you have not tried it. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer by Too Faced. Now, it doesn't have as much product as a foundation does, so if you use it every day, just know you are going to go through it a little bit faster, of course, naturally. But the finish that this stuff gives and the way that it wears, 
I love it. I use the color honey all over and sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of sand just to give me a little bit of lightness because honey is a little bit dark for me right now. But I love this stuff and I definitely have already bought two more that I have already over there. So I love it. Now I have another brow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I really, really like this brow pencil. I need to take a picture of it to make sure that I can remember exactly which one. I would definitely buy this again. Next, I have my NARS concealer. This one is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This one is in the color Ginger. I would buy it again. I've already bought it again. I love this concealer for cleaning up my brows. I don't really like it for underneath my eyes just because it's kind of drier. So underneath my eyes, it almost emphasizes texture and the fine lines that I have underneath there so I just really prefer it for all around my brows because it is so full coverage it's going to give you that nice sculpted brow look so I love that that's everything it feels so good to finally have done this video I've collected all of these items to do this video for you guys let me know for real for real let me know if you all really like this video if you do then I will keep doing it and I will collect it but, you know, I've gotten recommendations before where somebody was like, you know, just insert a picture. And I'm like, nah, I kind of brought that up just to feel out how you all would feel about that. And most of y'all were like, no, we like to see the actual product. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but let me know what you all think about these videos. And let me know if you all are going to be doing a purge. So it is time to let go of these products that you don't use yes i know we've spent our money on them but if you have not used that product in the last year okay i will give you all a little bit a little bit of leeway if you have not used the product in the last two years and you're not just collecting it but you actively are keeping the products because you think you're going to use it it's time to let it go okay that's my PSA for the day. So let me know if y'all are going to be doing a purge. I've purged my closet. I've purged my food pantry, my makeup, my hair care, skin care, everything. I've gotten rid of everything that I do not want. And it feels so good. I'm not even kidding. It feels good. So let me know what you all think. And I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.